Here. He is there in Miami in the spin room. Vaughn, who have you been able to talk to tonight? Oh, I see the cameras moving. There he is. He's pulling over Senator Bennett. Okay, Vaughn. Two senators to your left there, to your right there on the stage, Senator Bernie Sanders and Senator Kamala Harris. And they raised their hands when they said, talked about eliminating private health insurance. From your experience in the Senate and from working on such legislation, what is it that they are missing in this equation here? Well, I think what they're missing, first of all, they were honest about what's in the bill, which is good because there are some people who say that it doesn't eliminate private insurance, that it's somehow like Australia's system, which I think is a good system where you have both private and public insurance. So that's point one, credit for honesty. Second, I think what they're missing is that there are a lot of people in America, as Bernie said tonight, there are a lot of people that hate private insurance, and that's true. I hear from a lot of people like that. There are also a lot of people that like the insurance that they have and want to keep it. And I think if the objective is getting to universal health care coverage as quickly as we can, giving people an option to choose for their family, I think is absolutely going to be the fastest way. I think we will be dead before we take it away from people that are holding it um, uh, at their homes or uh, with their families. And, and that's why I just don't think it'll work. The question is totally there was, a surprise, there was a surprise when Senator Harris raised her hand to that response there. And I think there was a concern among a lot of people that what impact does that have in a general election? Well, first can you of make all, a, can you make a I wasn't surprised because I think she's for it and she has said that she wants it. I think that in states uh, like Colorado and other states where uh, that we need to win the majority in the Senate, um, we're going to have a hard time if the if the position of the Democratic Party is we're going to take insurance away from 180 million people. Remember what was what happened after the Affordable Care Act. President Obama said, if you like your insurance, you can keep it. A s relatively small number of people lost it because of the way the, the, the system came into place. And, and that was a political disaster, and it continues to be one today. So imagine a, a situation where what we're saying to people is, if you like your insurance, uh, we're going to take it away from you. That doesn't seem to be what we should be arguing. What we should be arguing is for universal health care coverage. And we can achieve that through a public option, and I think we can achieve it quickly and with much less disruption. And by the way, everybody who has private insurance and who hates it no longer needs it because they can come on to Medicare X. One last question for you. There was the conversation about passing the torch to a next generation. Do you believe that two men in the middle of the, the middle of that stage should pass that I torch? I think it's time. I mean, I'd answer Bernie's question that he asked at the very end by saying, look, yeah, it's true. Forty years of economic uh, immobility in this country, and we haven't figured out how to address it. I think it's time for a new generation of leadership in the country. I agree with it. Senator Michael Bennett. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate Thanks it. for having me. Thank Good you. to see you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.